Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you can hear me. Um, I'm trying something new today uh, with the um, with the wind out here. It's pretty strong. So if you can hear me there, somebody um, let me know that they can hear me okay. I've got a new set of mic system, and I'm trying to see if I'm um, coming in loud and clear. This is the first time I've tried this. So we'll see if uh, anybody can hear me okay. Everything's going good. How you doing, Ted? If um, I don't know if my mic system's working good or not here. I see uh, BJ Adams says he's watching from Mesquite. So I can hear me fine, great. The wind is pretty strong out here today, so I ended up buying a new uh, mic system. Things are going great down here on the ground. Just give you kind of a view of, uh, we've got people still coming in and out. We've got a, a good handful of people here today. And um, everything is uh, is going normal. We haven't went nowhere. We've had a, a busy morning down here with um, just getting camp prepared for a windstorm that's coming through and uh, meeting with um, good th thanks Deborah. I see everybody says they can hear me fine, so that's great. Hoping this here is a lot better than uh, before when uh, this wind, I'm trying to block it all out. So we end up buying a new mic system that hopefully is gonna work a lot better than what it did before. Cut out a lot of this wind, because as you can see, the flags are flying at a pretty good, uh, pretty good today. So we haven't had much going on today. We had a lot of people out here yesterday. We haven't had no one in the torture chamber today. We're um, kind of giving it a break today. Everybody um, is still out here. We had a close to a hundred people out here yesterday, and um, so it's been a little bit quieter. We've only got probably 20 people out here so far today. Tomorrow we'll have a lot more, and um, it's way better. The audio is. Thanks, Wade. I was hoping so. I'm hoping if it's going to cut out most of this, um, most of the wind here. So Tuesday. Next week is starting to be a big week. We have a lot of people coming from all over the country. They um, are coming from all over the country out here to join us for next week. Tuesday, we're going to have uh, a lot of the cowboys show up, some horses. Hopefully that 40-foot lift might be here by then. And um, yeah, the Bundy women fed us yesterday. We had Bundy beef yesterday. So we had a lot of... A lot of food, more food than everybody can eat. There was even leftover food. I'll try to turn the camera around here and uh, talk to you guys. So Carol, Carol Bundy talked with the sheriff as we said yesterday, and um, the uh, the sheriff said she found no no criminal intent in this business. That they was running their business as was set forth by the standards here. So the sheriff, the way I understand it, is not going to do any more investigation in at least what, Ammon, what happened to Ammon Bundy, that they didn't find any criminal intent. There's other people that have stopped by here. We know that this is inhumane how they treat people. Just because the sheriff and they have bad laws doesn't mean they're not doing something right. It, uh, there's a lot of other prisoners in this prison across the street from me that um, are complaining and saying that there is criminal things doing being done to them and things that are being done wrong. And um, we're wanting to still make that clear. The locals around here, we've had tons and tons of support it's saying the same thing, saying that they know that this prison should not be here, that they didn't want it here in the first place. And that's why we have them from just tons and tons of supporters. I've had probably a dozen plus locals that stopped in the day helping us and um, wanting to see what else they can do to keep us here longer. They're bringing us more signs and um, just all kinds of stuff. How you doing? So it's been a, not, a steady flow of people coming in and out of here nonstop since we've been here. So we still continue to stay here, still continue to have our presence. And um, 
we're going to see what more we can do to spread the word, to let people know that uh, this type of injustice, this criminal actions of this place shouldn't be going on. Right now, the wind is just blowing horrible out here. At least you can hear me better. It just, um, it's just, sometimes it's hard to even stand up. Our tents are staked down good. We got several of these shirts, so we're going to try to figure out an easy way to get people these shirts. I'm actually wearing one today. We're going to sell these shirts for $20 a piece, and the proceeds of the extra money goes to either the defense team or one of the families. So it's going to be all the profits are being given. There's no profit for us at all. It's all going to help the families or the defense team of these shirts. So if people send us private message or send me a private message, we'll figure out how to get you one. We'll get you your address and start getting these things shipped out to you. Um, we're, right now, this is the main color we have. We might have some orange ones also, some really bright orange. But uh, them, are the, them are the colors that we have. I, I know that they have um, uh, from medium, large, extra large, and double extra large. So... And we will definitely, we'll, we, we want to sign some of the shirts and we're going to get some of those signed too. So send me a private message in my messenger or um, we'll figure out another way to either give me a call and we will get you, anybody that wants these shirts, we'll get you some out. And um, hi Tara Lee, we, uh, we, we got some shirts for them yesterday too. Several people got shirts while they were here. It, um, it, uh, so we definitely will have shirts available. A whole bunch more. We probably have about 50 of them right now that have been made that we can start shipping out tomorrow or Monday morning. Other than that, we are going to do our Jericho March. I probably won't live stream it today. The, wind, the way the wind is, it's horrible out here today. So um, we're definitely having a hard time... Um, even standing up at some points because the wind is so strong. We're supposed to have about eight hours of this wind. And um, one of the reasons you can hear me better is I've got this little device around my neck that I bought and it's uh, it's Bluetooth into our camera. So it's supposed to cut out almost all the wind. And um, so that's, that's the reason I got it to try it today because the wind is just so bad and all the wind mics and the wind socks that we have put on the camera so far haven't been working and uh, we've had a lot of complaints that, uh, that, uh, that you all can't hear us. So we were gonna try this today and I'm glad it's working. How are you doing today? Ah, I'm doing fine. I'm just admiring the 21st century here. <laughs> all I, got a cam I got a cameraman over here. He's talking to himself. No, he's talking across town. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. <laughs> oh, you bet. <laughs> so, you're from Utah, right? Oh, you're from right here. You're from don't, have, don't tell anybody oh. where we are. Okay, yeah. So, that's, that's somebody from right here. So, one of the locals here. It, um, I haven't even met everybody yet. We've had so many people coming in. I haven't even got to really meet everyone down here. So it's, it's been awesome to see so many new faces come and go. The support, the food they've been bringing, the water they've been bringing, um, the supplies from the trucks to the signs. Had another supporter stop by today wanting to make us a great big billboard sign out here. And so we gave them some ideals. They're going to try to have that made by Tuesday. We uh, have a local radio station that I'm supposed to go to tonight, and um, they want me to go into the uh, studio and uh, be live on the radio here out of Prompt, Nevada. So that's awesome. We're going to keep spreading the word. How you doing, Joshua? Hope to see you back down here. It, uh, so we've had um, a good group of people, and uh, the support just keeps getting better. I got a phone call here. I'm going to turn the phone phone around here for a minute and I'm going to um, uh, let you see some of the signs and stuff while I take this phone call just for a minute. Hello? Yes, how you doing? Doing good. Or, uh, just a little over a hundred.
Okay, sounds good. Everything's going good. I'm just in the middle of a live stream, but I just stopped for just a second. Thanks, okay. Goodbye. Okay, I'm back here. I just stopped to take a quick phone call. But as you can see, everything's good. We've got quite a few people here. The wind's blowing good, so uh, we're just tying everything down and making sure we don't lose anything because the wind's supposed to get quite strong today. Um, I'm not for sure exactly which day I'm going to go into the torture chamber up here, but I am going to do it probably one time, one, one of these days over the weekend here. We got a lot more people coming. I'm going to got somebody coming to man the camera while I'm in there. And uh, we'll see how long I can last, but I'm definitely going to go into there. Somebody asked uh, how long or uh, how much money we have raised. I understand it's just slightly over $20,000. So that was awesome what everybody did for the last four days. We, that, was, that was what we raised in just four days out here. And uh, we wouldn't have been able to do that without every single person out there helping. And you can see how little bits of uh, support everywhere across this nation makes a big sum to help. And that's just awesome at how we're doing. Carol Bundy's doing good. She um, was disappointed, I'm sure, in what the sheriff had to say. But she's doing good. She uh, spent the, the rest of the afternoon down here with us and um, before she went home. But uh, she served us up food. Thanks, Cynthia. That's awesome. Um, we um, so and anybody who wants to continue to help support the defense fund or any of these political prisoners, whether it's in their commissary or one of the families that's in of their their of the political prisoners that's in prison, we welcome um, any of the support. But um, so, but Carol Bundy served us all food down here. She um, she uh, stood there while everybody went in line and she fed us all. And uh, we really want to give a big thank you to the Bundy family for coming out here and bringing us food like that. So I'll take some questions if anybody has any questions here for a few minutes before I go off. As you can see, the wind is really, really blowing out here. Let's see the cross Dwayne has here. I'll sh we have, uh, we got somebody in the torture chamber right now. I'm gonna show a picture of that cross behind your head up there, if we can see it. The wind is blowing so bad. Let's take this sign out here for a minute. See, there's the cross right there, guys. That's one of Dwayne Emmer's crosses. So, it's the only place you can light a cigarette. Is it? <laughs> what do you think of that box? Would you like to be in there for 13 hours? Who, me? Yeah. I've been through worse. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But no. <laughs> So there's the cross there that Dwayne Emmer makes. And um, I'm not for sure exactly. I think that one's going to be auctioned off here. But uh, it was sent over here to us and we hung it up. And, and I'll show you again the shirts here we have. So these are the shirts that we'll have for sale. And we have another style of shirt being made too that we'll show you hopefully later on today or tomorrow. I've been hearing about these cookbooks. I haven't seen one yet, but anybody who wants these shirts, send us a private message and we'll um, get these set up so people can um, uh, purchase these and we can get them sent out to you. And we will be sending them out right here from Camp Liberty, 1776 Mesquite Avenue. That's where we're 
We're going to uh, set up a table in here, package up these shirts, and get them ready to be sent out. Hopefully we'll have some going out maybe tomorrow or Monday morning to people who have been ordering these shirts. You know, I'm not real up on all the finances totally. I do know that some of the wives definitely need money. One person who I, and I know there's needs everywhere, so just naming one or two doesn't always do justice, it seems like. But I know that Brianna Bundy's car broke down last night. She's been working like 60 hours a week trying to support her family. And um, she is definitely needing support. Um, we're trying to raise some money right now to um, support her and try to get either her car fixed or get her another. If you, um, I'll try to go back over here. I don't have all the answers right here with me on these addresses, but if you can send me a private message or we'll try to go back through this thread and try to answer some of these um, uh, answers with addresses and stuff. And that is the address, Kevin, out here where we're at. We do have a mailbox. We're fixing to set it up shortly so we can receive the mail. And Kevin, if you want to build a mailbox, that'd be awesome. We actually have the mailbox. We just need a mailbox stand. Uh, we, have, we bought a new mailbox from uh, Home Depot just a little bit ago. The Sheriff Laura said there was no, she could not find no criminal intent here and her investigation is closed, she said. She watched all the videos, she showed the videos to the, some of the Bundy family, and she determined that she wasn't gonna proceed with any criminal charges against anyone here, that to the sheriff's opinion, there was no abuse done here. She said, one of the statements she made was that the, she, can know, she can't go into Walmart and tell them how to operate their business no more than she can go into this business here and tell them how to operate their business. I don't know if Carol got a copy of the videos yet, but I know she had a chance to watch them. That's right, Morgan, uh, James Madison, the, the finances to the defense fund is going to Morgan Philpotts. Yeah, we bought a mailbox and uh, we're gonna set that mailbox hopefully today. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, if you want to build us a mailbox, that'd be great. When you come out next, we'll have a place ready to set it. We'll have a temporary one so we can start getting this mail beforehand here. So there's some of the tents again. That's the kitchen. Our meeting area there underneath those tents. Some campers. There's more campers back there. There's the truck with the signs. We got our dumpster. So we know that um, this prison here is getting over a paying over a million dollars a year just to be here to the county. That's a lot of money. That's a big payoff right there. back over these threads and answer some of the questions here after a while thanks again everybody for joining us we'll try to keep you updated Ammon Bundy is still in solitary confinement uh, Ryan Bundy is in solitary both of them got punished again for some small things I heard today 
one of the things they got punished. Yeah, Matt, I'll text you right after this feed or send me a text here and I'll answer you to remind me. But Ryan had stuck a towel into a vent so the cold air would be freezing, coming in freezing so cold into his cell. And uh, he's given more solitary confinement on top of the solitary confinement he already is receiving. And Ammon had a shirt hanging over a light trying to keep the light so bright so he can sleep. Donna said you needed some water. Okay, Matt, I guess I misunderstood you there. I don't have time. It, um, but, um, so both of them, I understand, might have got a little bit longer solitary than they already, already are getting. In solitary, they don't get their commissary the same as the people in general population. They punish them even more why they're in solitary. So, so I guess right now I will, I will uh, sign off. I will be back on as quick as I can with more information as we have it. We're going to continue being down here, continue standing, and we appreciate everybody's support. And anybody who wants to come and join us, please come down here to Camp Liberty off of Mesquite Avenue out of Pahrump, Nevada. Thanks, Mary.